Okay, let's play part two. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, let's play part two. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and in some parts of the world, good night, and I hope you sleep well. My name's Grey, and this is part two of us playing Let's Go Eevee. So, um, since the first episode, I have done a little bit of grinding. Um, so, let's just have a look at what we've done. Um, I've gone for Bell Sprouts, and I've been grinding my Eevee, Bell Sprout, and uh, Pidgey up. Uh, we're all level 14. Um, I'm only going to be using the Eevee, Bell Sprout, and Pidgey at the top. So, um, what I've actually done is I've gone and done a combo, a catch combo of Bell Sprout. So, you can see I've got a load of Bell Sprout here. Um, I've got about 31 in here at the moment. Um, the one being the bell spell I'll be using. So, this is primarily how you get yourself some shiny Pokemon. Um, and that is all about catch comboing. Uh, you always have the chance of getting a random encounter shiny. Um, I have had that once or twice before. And it was um, it was never anything that I actually wanted, which was always annoying. But so th what you do is you um, get yourself a catch combo of whatever. So uh, thirty is the magic number. So you, you don't have to go past thirty to uh, get yourself the best chances of getting a uh, shiny. Um, but you're right now we don't have a lure down so if you uh, have a catch combo of 30 and you've got a lure down and you've got the shiny charm that is the best chance of getting yourself a shiny um, the odds are the lowest that you can have uh, we don't have a lure and we don't have the um, uh, shiny charm however what this does give me is a f 1 in 430 something chance of uh, catching a sh or finding a shiny um, and with this catch combo, I can go in and out of um, uh, shops. Uh, I can talk to people. I can battle trainers. Um, the only thing I can't do um, is catch a different type of Pokemon um, and or let a Pokemon leave, like run away, or uh, close the software down. So as long as I don't catch any anything different... Um, yeah, okay, thank you. As long as I can, I don't have to catch anything different other than a bell spelt, um, I'm good. If I don't let any Pokemon run away from me, I'm good. Um, and also, um, if I don't close the software, I'm good. Now, the reason why I've done this is for two reasons. One uh, is to get more experience up. So today, right now, we're going to go and we're going to breeze through the Viridian Forest. We're going to go down to Pewter City. Uh, we're going to challenge Brock. Um, and we're going to be challenging Brock with our Bell Spell. Um, and after that, uh, we might actually, I'll, I'll see at the end of this episode, I'll see if we can try and catch a shiny Bell Sprout. I, uh, it would be nice to get, uh, to, to, to find a shiny this early on. So, um, those of you, uh, there's a potion. Just on the other side of this tree that you can cut. Now, we could go this way. Uh, there are um, Spearows, Nidoran males, Nidoran females there. But we won't. As we don't have to, we won't. So right now, we've just run into a Pidgey. Now, um, we need to run away from this Pidgey. We can uh, run away from um, other Pokemon. That doesn't matter. You can also run away from the Pokemon that you're actually chaining as well. Um, or comboing. Which is very handy. Because uh, some of the harder Pokemon that you will be comboing. Um, I, I have a, a method of... If it doesn't get into the Pokemon once, I run away from it. So, Vir Viridian Forest, right now, is actually a really good place for shiny Pokemon. Um, and the reason for that is because it's not got a higher chance of shiny Pokemon per se. It has, in the sense that there's so many Pokemon that spawn here. 
Now, each time a Pokemon spawns, that counts as one Pokemon encountered. Even though you've not gone into the battle, even though you, you, you've not run away from it, that's still a, a Pokemon spawn. That still counts to your 1 in 400 something. So, it's very, very good. Uh, we're just going to breeze through this. Um, now, they say, with uh, the Pokemon levels, I have realised this, they say, like, you know, when we beat uh, Brock, he will say, oh, you can have Pokemon up to level 20, uh, uh, past level 20, they won't obey you. If they're your Pokemon, they will obey you at, le at whatever level they are. Let's just go get his Pokemon. Three Raspberries, that's good. All good. Won't it be cool just to find a, a, a shiny Bulbasaur right now? Now, you, see, you, you can see a Bulbasaur running around now. Um, and the reason for that, I mean, that's a that's a rare encounter right there. And the reason for that is uh, because when you hit 30 as a catch combo, you actually do get a higher chance of finding a, a rare Pokemon. So having a catch combo of 30 actually is a very good idea right at the start. I would seriously recommend doing it. You get 50 Pokeballs, you only need to use 30 of them, so that's fantastic. Um, and you have a chance of finding yourself a, a Bulbasaur, even a shiny Bulbasaur, at the start. Which is fantastic. But we won't spend too much time here. Um, Shiny hunting will be part of this se uh, series as well, guys. I I was I sat down for quite some time thinking about like my uh, my my Pokemon schedule. I thought to myself, would it be an idea to do uh, a separate thing for shiny hunting? I thought, well, mm, no, because if you guys like this se series, you would be wanting to see some shiny Pokemon within the series as well. So I thought I might as well incorporate shiny Pokemon, shiny hunting in this series. And it's not like you're going to be sitting there for five, six hours with me the whole time hunting. Um, I will be taking the long route by spending all that time myself, <clears throat> and you will literally take the. You'll be like a time travel uh, time traveller. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I think I'm getting a little bit of a cough going on here. See how many bell spouts are going now. That's also due to the fact that we have a catch combo of 30. Um, when you get to level 30, or level, <laughs> when you get to a catch combo of 30, to whatever Pokemon you're chaining, um, that same Pokemon will go, like, they will spawn so much. Um, it, like, you'll have far greater numbers of the Pokemon that you're spawning. Look, look how many Bell Spouts there are. And remember, every single one of these counts as a encounter even though you're not actually fighting them. So, it's really, really good. It's really handy just to see so many of these Bell Spouts out. Um, and considering uh, the Viridian Forest has like, um, you can have like 14, 15, 16, uh, maybe even 17 Pokemon spawn at the same time. That's like 17 straight away done for you. The only trouble I have found is because there's so many of these spawning, it, you might not get a shiny uh, bell spout, which is what we're after. You, you, you really, it's like a shiny ice spy game. You have to really sort of keep an eye out on um, the uh, every single Pokemon that spawns. Look how many Pokemon are spawning, and this is without a, a, a lure. So there is a high chance that you might miss the shiny. Uh, and you also have to sort of do your research as well. What Pokemon spawn here, and what shiny versions are there of this Pokemon? So, it's it's really something you have to like look out for. Even though it's very easy to, to to get your number up, you have to sort of like think to yourself, I might miss the shiny. Right, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to beat up this old uh, little kid. I say old, 
I don't know why I said old, but this little kid, uh, he's only got like one Pokemon, Metapod. Um, and then we'll go straight over to the uh, gym and defeat Brock. We'll just do this. Yeah, go on, go, go on. Off you trot. Also, um, <clears throat> catch comboing is a really good way of making money as well. So the higher catch combo, this has to be, it, you can't stop at 30. So um, every time you catch a Pokemon now past 30, and the more you catch, the higher the catch combo, the more uh, poker candy you get from that Pokemon. Um, each candy will be sold at uh, the Pokemon for 10 Poker Dollars. Um, now you will, the higher you get, uh, the more you get per Pokemon. So you'll be actually sort of uh, getting yourself maybe uh, 60 or 70, um, and each one will be $10 each. Um, and uh, if you catch it with one Pokeball, um, that's a hundred per poker dollars that you're going to be spending um, so th that's how you can make money as well on on uh, catch comboing right so um, unfortunately we didn't see any of the shiny Pokemon there I know I breezed through it um, but this isn't a, uh, a walkthrough of the game this is let's play and you guys we wanted to see so much more than just every single step so uh, this is probably the place, maybe, that I'll be hunting for a shiny Pokemon. Um, you, there's a chance of having a shiny Pidgey, uh, Caterpie, uh, Weedles, Metapods, Cocooners, uh, and of course, the Bellsprout. So, let's get into Pewter City, shall we? And Yeti Fudge is here. I was hoping we'd run into each other. That's nice. You know there's a poker gym uh, up this way. You can battle against the gym leader there and he's seriously strong. I very much doubt it. If you want to be stronger, you definitely got to try take him on. Huh? Well, we have our belt spell. Yeah, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna read all of it. Thank you ever so much for the potions, uh, Yeti, Yeti. Much appreciated. Give it your best. I think we shall. Now we're going to give it our worst. So let's just go straight into it, shall we? What do you want, Evie? Fantastic. Right, so we are going to change our bell spelt into our first position. Now, this really will be a complete and utter whitewash because um, of all the bell sprouts that we actually do have in our um, bag, but let's go. Okay, so we need to uh, show him a grass or water type Pokemon which I'm fairly certain that we have. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, I'm not even going to bother uh, fighting these two. We don't need the extra experience. Brock, my friend, you're, you are going to get beaten so hard. You'll have no idea what just happened to you. So, um, they've also made it easier in this game, because, um, like, not only can you catch bell sprouts from the start, um, actually this bell sprout that you'll see right now was actually the first one, um, that I saw, and it was, it was just very easy to, to, to find, to catch. They also have Vine Whip straight away, so, that's that Geo dude out. Not even broke a sweat. Now he's going to be an Onyx. No, we will keep our little bell sprout here. 
Look how big this onyx is compared to our bell spell. And yet, one shot. Wow, okay, I, I was really expecting that to be one shot, but hey. <laughs> you got two attacks off, you should be proud of that. Oh no, you're going to get three attacks off. That headbutt with the flinching. Stop it. Take that. You overgrown rock snake. I was trying to think of something smart to say there, but my mind just drew a blank. The moment I, I, I stop recording, I'll, I'll have something in my head. <laughs> we have done our first gym badge, guys. In in episode 2, in like 35 minutes of, of actually uh, recording, we've done the first gym badge. See, look, this is what I'm talking about. With the boulder badge, uh, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trains will listen to you. Uh, without question. Okay, so they actually do stay. I, I didn't actually see that to begin with. So, um, the Pokemon that you catch yourself is very important. The Pokemon that you catch yourself, you can, if you want, stay in Route 1. You can stay where you are right now and train your Pokemon up to level 100, if you wanted to. Um, and they will still listen to you. Will it take a long time? Yes. Will it be fun for you to play the game? No, because it will just be so easy for you. However, if Pokemon come from other players, if you get a traded Pokemon, that will not listen to you past a certain level. Uh, we can just go out now. Sweet! Thumbs up for that, guys. Oh, look. It's Gary. Or blue. Blue, okay. I really don't think we need some advice from someone like you. But thank you ever so much for the great balls. He's a lot nicer in this one. Old plain Pokeballs. <laughs> Smell you later, newbie. Alright, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Those of you who have children, uh, or younger siblings, you will uh, you might understand that reference, what I've just... that little quote I just said. Okay, bye-bye. I'll give you a hint. The second one has just been released. Right, so... We can now go and hunt for a shiny Pokemon. Um... So, what I might end up actually doing, guys, is uh, ending this episode. Um, and we will see you guys in part three, episode three, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that uh, video. We smashed through the forest, uh, saw a load of bell sprouts, too many to count. Uh, no shinies, I'm, I'm afraid. Um, and we are going, um, we've, we've completed the first gym badge with ease and we are now going to be uh, hunting for a shiny pokemon maybe i don't know depends on how long it takes um and thank you ever so much for watching and please like comment and if you haven't done so already subscribe we've hit four thousand subscribers guys that is insane thank you ever so much we are, i think we're almost up to about 4020 but guys that is fantastic. I cannot believe that that's even happened to my channel, to me. Um, and the more people come, the more you guys talk to me, the more you, that you watch my videos, the more videos I do. And yeah, it's it, you guys keep me going. So without you, I will, I will be physically nothing. Um, and I will see you in my next video in uh, next week. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>